I am an ordinary person who had extraordinary students. Unfortunately, I'm the only one that thought they were extraordinary initially. But I was given 150 kids in a large urban school district that weren't supposed to make it. And I mean that literally. We had just had a riot. We had 126 homicides in our community. And the 150 kids that walked into my life at the age of 14 in ninth grade hated reading. They hated writing. Based on their comfort zones and the community they lived in, they hated one another. And every single one of my students had a label. That label was dumb, stupid, or nothing. So I decided that we were going to play a game, a game that was anything but. Stand on the line if you have the new Snoop Dogg CD. And there were some haws, some what, some rolling of the eyes, some people thinking, this woman is crazy. And each and every one of my kids stood on that line thinking, where is this game taking us? Question after question. Stand the line if you've seen this movie, Boys on the Hood. Stand the line if you like this song. It became rote. It became like a gravitational pull. And then, then the real questions. Stand on the line if you know someone who is poor. And every single kid, every single one of them stood on that line because every single one of them was poor. So in that moment, that humbling moment, each and every kid stood on that line, different shapes, sizes, colors, and hues, they stood there anyways. And the questions continued. And then I made a mistake. I used the word you. And with the word someone, someone gives you an out. Someone can be that friend, that neighbor, that person you're sitting by. Someone gives you that cloak of anonymity. You you was far too specific. Stand on the line if you have ever been homeless. And I realized the game has changed. It is anything but. Because anybody that stands on that line before me is shouting to the rafters, see me. And I may not know their story, but I got to make this place a safe place. I gotta let this, these kids heal. I gotta let these kids be whole. I gotta let them put down their fist or that gun and pick up that pen somehow, some way, and write. Tell me about your journey. Where does it start? But where is it headed?